Okay, back in Dead Space. Last time we were just introduced to Nightmare Fuel Babies, and we we're continuing immediately where we left off. Even though I already said that. Oh, hey, it's the thing I needed. Uh, thermite. Alright, that thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. So basically, I'm gonna use defibrillators on a big old thing of thermite to blow through a barricade some guys set up to keep the things out. Which in hindsight might not be a good idea, because, you know, they made it to keep the things out. Screw it, I'm Isaac Clark. Boop. Thank you. Heard something break over there. Oh, hey, oh, slow down. This guy has armored legs. I'm not gonna make the same mistake of trying to break his legs off. Jeez, you are all kinds of screwed up. I don't think I've ever sat this close to the TV while playing this game and just noticed how screwed up some of these things look. Alright. Do do. Alright, so now I go this. Go this way to get to the. 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 the, the, the defibrillators. But I'm gonna check the store real quick. I'll skip through some of this if it's not interesting. Oh right, flamethrower. How much is that? All of my money. Uh, I don't need this. <sighs> Fine. I'll do that. And I'll get the flamethrower. That was a strange sound for buying something. Like the sound you'd hear. Uh, kind of made the sound like no, but like instead it was like you bought a weapon. It just it just sounded like a negatory kind of sound. That woman looks like she's ready to do science. It got dark. Jeez. You okay, bud? Need to talk about it? Nope, he sorted it out. It's alright. Uh, it's gonna grab the friggin'. Okay, geez. Alright. I know I complain a lot about, like, things kind of, like, screwing up, like. I don't know, weird things having to do with uh, picking stuff up and being finicky and stuff. Here we go. This is one of the node doors. <laughs> one of the node doors. This is why I saved one of the nodes instead of spending them all there. But, um, this is definitely one of my uh, favorite game series. Even though the third one was pretty meh. Alright, uh, I'm gonna scroll through this so that way you can pause it and read it if you want. Alright, so basically some guy named Harris started going crazy, and they, uh, I'm gonna use this node to unlock this door. And that was, from what I can tell, the first time they mentioned the phrase, make us whole. Which, um, no, it's not. Um, and that it becomes like a reoccurring phrase throughout the entire series of the, the games. Right. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes, we found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. 
he of all people should know that this is greater than him or the operation or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? Alright, so in that room I picked up a gold semiconductor, which is a... Uh, it has no use other than just being very valuable, so you can just sell it at stores and get a bunch of credits. I only have one node, but I just unlocked a door, so I'm probably not going to see another door before I get another node, so I'm going to actually use this one. Rig, ugh, he has a bunch of blank things that I need to like daisy chain together in order to get the first HP thing, and air. Eh, there's only one point in the game where you need air. Screw it, I'm going to use it for air this one time. That's the only time I'm going to use it for air. Because there's literally just one point in the game where um, oxygen becomes a problem. Let me just move this out of the way. Alright. Also, I just did that. Thank you, Siri. Uh... Alright, so my weapons are on the D-pad now, so here's the flamethrower. Oh, I guess I'll try it out. If he comes near me. Get back. He has no stop. Alright, it's out. Oh, uh, the thing that sucks about it being on the D-pad is you have to let go of the control stick in order to like switch so you just stand there like an idiot being chased trying to change your weapons also that flamethrower did nothing to them that's definitely something for um dealing with smaller groups of enemies rather than just like a few bigger enemies but they definitely seem weakened yeah don't do that hit you Usually it takes a few hits on the limbs to break them off, but like, there's just one hit on each of them. So maybe it's more of like a, just does, like, a little bit of damage overall on them, and then like, hit them with another weapon and it just breaks it off. I don't know. Never really used that. Isaac, you knew CPR. You could have helped him, but you didn't. Oh. Nope. Uh, the schematics in the way. Let me just casually reload and uh, continue shooting this guy. Now, yeah, that was that was a preset animation. He wasn't actually dead, but he didn't even like. He didn't even give me the the chance to think that that was uh. It's time. I'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna stop with that sentence and just leave it at that. Alright, put this battery back in its slot. It turns on the lift. Can't go through there yet. Alright. Reload. Alright. Alright, bring this over a little bit more so I can go across. Infidels! Where are you? Stop it. Alright, alright. Stop. Man, the stasis lasts a really long time. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to reload. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now see, now they're dropping uh, they're dropping flame fuel. So they aren't gonna be dropping uh, plasma rounds as often, which could be problematic later on. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anything. Recharge that. Let's go! I hear my cat complaining again. Okay. I was just checking my ammo real quick. Come on, let's go. I'm not going that way. Now see, this is where uh, oxygen. Yeah, and it's counting down. Please. Anyway, this is where uh, oxygen actually 
comes into effect. Oh good, line racks. I don't even have that gun. I hear my cat meowing. In the, uh, in the second game, they didn't even, like, uh, they give you, like, twice as much oxygen, like, right off the bat. So it's even less useful to upgrade your oxygen. 10,000! Jeez. Someone very rich got sucked into the vacuum of space. As you know, the Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero-G area. It's good to know. Even in a time of crisis, he is very good at informing you of just standard stuff. Alright. So, obviously I just turned off the gravity, so now, start jumping around. Woo! So, slap it in there. Um, get in there. Please. There we go. This one door requires two massive batteries. Open up. Exiting zero gravity. And you know what I just realized? I forgot to sync the first video. So I'm just going to have to listen for my reactions in order to sync up the audio with the gameplay. So that's going to be great. Alright, shock pad. Or defibrillator, you know, whatever you want to call it. Great. Ammo. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Thanks, friend. Entering zero gravity. Ooh. Yeah, you can probably hear that my phone just went off. Jeez. I try to do this without killing myself. Where did you go? There he is. There he is. Hoop, and hoop. There we go. He's making noises like long after he died, so I thought he was still alive. Did he drop anything? Usually, come on, come here. God dang it. Oh, there's a box. Take this, break it. Good, flame ammo. I buy one additional gun, and that's all I'm getting ammo for now. This is what happens. There's actually a, uh, an achievement in the game for just going through with the plasma cutter, which is pretty easy to do because it's a pretty, um, all around good good gun, especially if you upgrade it. Yes, I, I told you to open once. It's like those games that when you try to save it, it's like, do you want to save? It's like, yes. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, please, just save the game. Are you sure you don't maybe like want to? Oh, jeez. Blast your head off. There's no point in aiming for their heads, but it just makes you feel good. More flame ammo. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. Jeez. There we go. Boop. 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 I'm gonna punch you for good measure. This is to make up for the last time I engaged in fisticuffs and it didn't work. <sighs> my friend keeps texting me. But I need my phone in order to keep track of the timer. So I can't just turn it off. It's first world problems. Okay, I need to bring this thing back over so I can walk across. Also need to reload. I do not want to be caught with- Oh! I see you in there. Felt like that would have been an opportune time to have something pop up behind me too. Ooh, where are you? There you are. 
Man, I'm just really good at missing. You have to think of things on the positive side. Don't think of it as don't think of it as being bad at aiming. Think of it as being good at missing. And also, don't think of it as being bad at English. Think of it as potentially being good at speaking another language. Trust me, it makes sense. All right. Keep on keeping on. Oh, jeez. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. I just blindly stumbled right into that. Just turn the corner and just little leech things are all over my face. That's why you have the flamethrower. For those guys. <laughs> 